Thank you, Chairman Nadler, Ranking Member Collins, uh, members of the committee. Uh, first of all, I must say I have Tourette syndrome. Sometimes I uh, have tics and make sounds I can't control, so please forgive me. <laughs> For the past 25 years, I've served as president of the oldest prose organization, the Zionist Organization of America. Uh, we promote strong U.S. Israel relations and work to protect American Jews and others from anti Semitism and violence. As a child of Holocaust survivors, I personally felt the horrors of unbridled anti-Semitism. I was born in a DP camp in Germany, grew up without the loving presence of most of my grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, whom the Nazis murdered. <laughs> a front page article in the New York Times Friday headlines, bias is shared by extremes of the right, left, and Islam. We should keep that in mind. <laughs> the Tree of Life synagogue murderer was a neo-Nazi who hated white President Trump for not being anti-Semitic, called Jews in the Trump administration a kike infestation. The New Zealand mosque murderer was a, actually a left-wing, self-described eco-fascist who also published a manifesto praising communist China as the, quote, nation with the closest political and social values to my own. <laughs> Most of us correctly treat neo-Nazis and white supremacists as horrifying. History reminds us that we cannot write neo-Nazism off as a marginal phenomenon. There's a plethora of sickening neo-Nazi white supremacist internet sites fomenting hatred and violence primarily against Jews and blacks, but also against LGBTQ, women, feminists, and Muslims. We need to determine who is funding and is behind this. <laughs> the FBI reports, reports that Jews are the victims of 60% of the religious motivated hate crimes in America. Jew hatred is the canary in the coal mine. It's unfortunately incumbent upon us to speak about the major issue threatening violence against Jews and all Americans, which is Muslim anti-Semitism, which is strengthened by significant institutional support and the support of imams and is becoming mainstream. Let's look at college campuses. During the decades that ZOA has been combating campus anti-Semitism, we've never received a single complaint about anti-Semitic discrimination, harassment, or intimidation perpetrated by neo-Nazis or white supremacists. By contrast, we receive hundreds of calls from students about anti-Semitic harassment, discrimination, and intimidation perpetrated by the left-wing, significantly Muslim hate group, Students for Justice in Palestine, SJP, and its allies. ZOA's letter to city... <laughs> Zui's letter to City University, we have documented that at these SJP rallies, it is common for SJP demonstrators calling for Israel's elimination, screaming Jews out of their campuses, Jews are racist sons of bitches, forgive me. When we take control of this campus, we're going to kick you out and make sure you don't graduate. Get out of America, long live the Intifada. Last week at Columbia University, the anti-Semitic hate group SJP distributed a flyer for its apartheid week with a caricature of a Jew that looks like it came from the Nazis propaganda tabloid, Der Sturmer. <laughs> the Amcha Initiative database of almost 2,600 incidents confirms SJP and its allies are the perpetrators in most incidents on U.S. campuses. Unfortunately, that abhorrent incidents perpetrated by Muslim and leftist campus groups are rarely satisfactorily resolved. Let's look at the statistics. ADL's worldwide survey of 100 countries found that 49% of Muslims harbor anti-Semitic attitudes. This is a chart of that. You see the non-Muslims, it's far less. This is a painful fact uh, that ADL uh, has studied. <laughs> it's more than double the anti-Semitism found among persons of other faiths. ADL data also shows the U in the U.S., 34% of Muslims, according to ADL, exhibit a high degree of anti-Semitism versus 14% of the general population. The 16 countries and the territories having the highest level of anti-Semitism were all in the Muslim Middle East. Levels of anti-Semitism there range from 74 to 93%. Uh, in a recent conference uh, on anti-Semitism, a speaker said, 20 years ago, the major problem was anti-Semitism of the far right, but it flipped. Now it's the left and radical Muslims. <laughs> We're in danger of seeing it spread uh, to the Middle East and to Europe. <laughs> the danger and problem is there is institutional support for violence by leading imams. Al-Azhar University, which is the West Point of Islamic academia, trains imams who fan out all over the world. A highly influential treatise by the former Grand Mufti Tantawi said, quote, Gentle persuasion can do no good with Jews, so use force with them. Treat them in the way you see as effective in ridding them of their evil. At Al-Azhar Friday sermons, they've recited hadiths saying we have to commit genocide against the Jews in order to usher in the messianic day of judgment. During the past year and a half, <laughs> in Moss in North Carolina, New Jersey, California, Texas, Pennsylvania, imams have made the same speeches about genocide against the Jews. 
Can you imagine if rabbis called to murder Christians or priests were called to murder Muslims? We've demanded they should be fired. They weren't. <laughs> Wayne Hurst Ali, a well-known Somali former Muslim, said, I confess that if you're a Jewish, I want to apologize to you. When my half-sister showed me holy Quranic verses to support her hatred of Jews, I feared arguing with Allah for Allah would burn me. I also hated Jews. I'm ashamed of my prejudice against you in the past. <laughs> As Egyptian President Sisi said in a speech at Al-Azhar University, we need a, 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 a religious revolution. You imams are responsible for Allah. The entire world is waiting. <laughs> Let's speak frankly. If we want to stop hate and stop institutions from supporting condoning it, I don't know how much time I have. You're, you're, you're 48 seconds over. Well, but I was stopped. I, I was stopped with, with the outburst. The outburst. Go ahead. Another 30 seconds. I have something uh, very, very important to say. <laughs> Especially as a child of Holocaust survivors. I was horrified to see Speaker Pelosi, Leader Hoyer, defend Representative Omar after her vicious anti-Semitic remarks and, pre and presidential... Okay, the gentleman's time has expired. Ms. Owens. That was unfair. It was not unfair. You had plenty of extra time, Ms. No, Owens. No, I did not.